This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, Drake, Drake puts up a cryptic post that he's like paying for. He voices support for uh, Young Thug, but Drake claims he's spending money to help Young Thug beat a RICO charge. Is that true? I don't know. You say, but the the caption reads, "I ain't take, I ain't talking to talk, man. I really put." bread on the business is that what that is is that a bread piece of bread bread on the business free jeff maybe he is shout out to drake lawyer fees and gary grill for being the best lawyer in toronto okay so maybe he helped i think he helped top five too anyways we'll see uh drake posted this today so we'll see uh, so 50 Cent is not happy with Tracks NYC remaking these crosses that 50 Cent once had. He said, I was inspired by 50 Cent. This is his, the crosses he's holding up. He's like, uh, I, he inspired me to make these crosses. So 50 Cent said, this was a bad idea. You will regret doing this, I promise. And Tracks NYC said, 50 Cent, don't you get better things to worry about? He's taking him to court for millions of dollars for using his likeness to sell these crosses uh he's not even a client if like 50 cents not even a client of his or anything so it's like what made you feel like it was all right to like copy this man's stuff and sell it for yourself like are you are you that i mean that, i'm gonna be honest with you those buster rhymes chains were big and dookie they didn't even look like anything you know buster rhymes just likes them because they're big he probably didn't even have to pay for him probably gives them back when he's done I don't know, man. Jaguar Wright and uh, Rick Ross uh, come into contact at the Sheen magazine red carpet. And he's probably like, yo, please don't go after me. That's what he's probably saying. Please don't go after me. I know I used to hang around Diddy with a slippery soap and there's mad pictures of us almost making out. But come on, please. Please leave me alone. She's dangerous, bro. <laughs> Dr. Dre blames uh, that counselor that's taking him to court for $10 million, right? For sabotaging his relationship with his son. So that's who he feels like she was putting thoughts in someone's head. She was putting thoughts in Dr. Dre's son's head to, like, not like the father, you know? And, and, you know, that would make anybody mad, to be honest with you. He said, uh, Sophie slandered him in a malicious effort to convince his son to turn against him. So, I guess I'll have to go to court, man. Um, Dame Dash put this video out, right, of him talking to his son. He was like, you gotta be there to raise your son so they don't come up looking like sissies or something, something like that. I, I was like, you can't let it, you can't let the woman have the most influence because they'll come out soft, stuff like that. A lot of people were triggered by that. That's something that you should keep to yourself, especially in today's climate. You shouldn't really uh, talk about that publicly. I mean, even if it's you know, even if there's any truth to it, you know, just leave it alone, bro. Like, and I'm happy to report that Aiden Ross called Lieutenant Dan and told him that he will be getting his kick deal and the 100k boat. So that's great news. Okay, because I was kind of heartbroken by that. I was like, eh, everyone has a past, man. This guy's, you know, you did promise him something, you know, give him something, you know. So, you know, because his past came up with all his arrests and stuff. I guess he assaulted a police officer before or something, you know, some other stuff. He had a lot of arrests. I ain't going to lie. It was like 9 to 12 of them, but <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Anyways, I appreciate you all. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button. Smash Jordan, that subscribe button. Jordan, Jordan Tower. Tower.